Good morning, boys and girls. This video is for May 4th, 2020. And you can see I wrote the short way today. I didn't write May. I wrote the number because May is the fifth month of our year. So we count January, February, March, April, May. So that's the fifth month of the year. So I wrote May. I just actually wrote the number five slash four slash 20. And I'm making this video kind of early in the morning because I wanted to tell you a real thing that happened. Um, this morning in my journal, here's my journal for this morning. And I was writing, 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 writing. I had so many things to say. I was writing, 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 writing. And suddenly, oh, my hand... Oh, my hand got so tired because I was writing so much and I wasn't finished with what I wanted to say, but my fingers started cramping kind of bad. And so what I did was I went downstairs and I got a cup of coffee and I took a little break and I let my hand have a little break so that it could not be as because I was writing so hard. And then, this is a true story, I came back upstairs to start writing again, and I sat down in my journal, and I picked up my pen, which is what I'm writing with today, and I started writing again, blah, 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 and I have a lot to say in my journal, so it's da, 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 da. and I stopped, and, <laughs> silly Miss Courtney, guess what I had done? I... I can't believe I did this. You guys would never do this because you've learned a lot about writing. When I started writing again, when I when my hand felt better and I started writing again, I didn't reread what I had already written. And so when I started again, I wrote something down that I had already written. Ah, oh, you guys. We know that good writers which kind of means today I wasn't being a really good writer. But we know that good writers, they write a little, read a little, write a little, read a little, write a little, read a little, write a little more, right? Which really just means good writers, you write some and then you reread what you've written so that you can remember what you've already said and you can think about what you want to write next and then you start again writing. So we always do that. So I made a big mistake in my journal this morning. The good news is it's just a journal for me so it's no big deal but I wanted to make sure to remind you guys when you're out there writing to reread what you've written, okay? You guys, today's writing prompt is on the computer, on the Google uh, Classroom. But truly, I just want you to write about ways that you have helped someone else during the shelter in place. Okay? I've heard so many stories about how people have made other people feel better by... Maybe um, we at my house, we wrote um, big signs and pasted them on the window or taped them on the window so that people, when they walk by, they read our signs. You can see them. They're walking and then you can see them look over at the window and they read our sign and I can see their face. They just, they're like, oh, because it's, they're kind signs. They say really nice things. So that's one thing that we've done here at my house. Um, I've heard also about you guys, I've heard you've been calling your neighbors and calling your friends to check on them and make sure they're okay. So I want you to brainstorm with your family. What have you already done that has helped someone else during this shelter in place? And I want you to write all about it in your journal. If you can't think of anything that you have done to help somebody else, then I want you to brainstorm with your family what you could do to help somebody else. Like our, our hands are kind of tied right now. We're a little bit limited in what we can do because we can't go over to people's houses and give them a big hug, which is what I personally want right now. I'm like dying for big, big hugs. I can't wait to hug everybody. I can't do that right now, but I'm thinking of other ways to be kind to people. So 
Today's writing assignment. Brainstorm what you and your family are already doing to help other people. And if you can't think of anything, talk to your family. Maybe they can help you think of something. And if truly, truly you've been all about yourself, like just trying to figure out how to live through this shelter in place, then brainstorm with your family what you could do to help someone else. And then I want you to write all about it. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys soon.